Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 10 of season 2 of Beastars. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. The biggest thing that I'm kind of wondering for today is especially, let's go back to last, last week, episode 9. <sighs> And you know who was feeling some type of way, like, oh yeah, let me go visit him. No, you're gonna go eat his ass, aren't you? You're like, you fucker. You still feel bad about killing Tim? Hmm. Is that an orange? No, the oh tomatoes. Hot up. Time out. We we really about to have a whole episode about him. Okay, then sir, why didn't you do that instead of killing Tim? I mean, come on. Oh, that looks good. It's interesting using a whole tomato for that. I didn't want to see it like that. Well, damn. Why'd you do it like that? No. That's not cool. Oh god, are we gonna show it again? Oh, thank god. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I hope so much. I'm not going to say he's a bad guy. He just did a bad thing. But still, I think once everybody finds out about this, <clears throat> it's just going to be way more complicated. I'm like, I only think, what, we got like two more weeks or three more weeks with the show? <laughs> because you're a guy. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hmm? Oh. Everybody throw in the flag. <laughs> Never mind, guys. Take that flag back. Never mind, guys. Put the flag back on. It's okay for her to worry about him and still be in love with Legacy. It's... It, at least she's not like, okay, I, I love him, but I also love you too. Oh. Not to the point where you break her, right? I mean, please. Oh, it's too much, Janae. Why are y'all doing this to me? What, what is wrong with these two shows? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say, why the fuck did that just sound sexual? <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna guilt trip her? That's cause he's a fucking player! I mean, he'd probably be doing this to every fucking girl. How the freak are you going to call someone by the wrong freaking name and think that we're okay? Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, shit. Oh, hell no. 
Why? What you gonna do? Eat them? Oh, fuck. No. Huh? Nope. 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 I really don't like it. I, I need him to go. Sir, how do you just change your voice in an instant? What the fuck is that? Stop it! I can't. I can't. Mm -mm. See, do you not know what voices do to me? Like, mm. That was addressed to him. Why? Huh? Oh, okay. I mean, my thing is, you know, we could just kill him. You know, you can get a gun, chainsaw, axe, chop him the fuck up. See, also, you know what, and i kind of been say wanting to say this since, like, ever since Pina has made an appearance... Pina is that type of guy who, he, he seems very bisexual, even though it seems like any other scene we've seen him with, he's always flirting with a girl, but he is the type who's like, who kind of goes both ways and such. <laughs> it's hella obvious.
Oh, fuck. Hmm. Can you really handle him, though, like that? Oh, because you ain't time? Yeah, I get that, but... Mm. Oh. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. Oh, fuck. Exactly. Even though, yes, he forgave you in the F and N, like, still, he ain't accept you for what you were. You're. Oh, Jesus. You are capable of love. You just found it in the wrong way. How the fuck did you switch like that so fucking quickly? Ain't that next week for y'all? So, you know, I am really excited to see this in Dove. I I'm wondering how the hell the Dove cast is going to handle this because, oh my god. The sayings are just going in on this, and I had to, woo! <laughs>
Seriously? You, you would end abruptly. You say there is a way. But you won't tell us what the way is. That's... Mm. Who does that? Who does that be us? I mean, honestly, like, the fight between these two, like, this was a damn good fight. I, I'm guessing, like, probably when this officially comes out on Netflix, I think they said June or July of this year. Um, something tells me that when we get to the next Anime Awards, it, it's probably going to be in a best fight. I don't know if it could win. It also depends on what else it's going to go against. And so, it's, but it was a really interesting fight. I mean, you could feel the emotion, the rawness, and everything between these two. And it's almost like a debate where it's like, hey, I'm right, you're wrong, let me tell you the reasons why. The fact that, you know... Oh, my God. <sighs> Riz thinks he's incapable of love and feelings and he just looks at any type of herbivore as a piece of meat no matter what and he thinks that Tem accepted him. Tem, in a way, yes, Tem accepted him, he forgave him and such, but still, your urges took over. Your urges are like a drug and such, like really for anyone else who's like addicted to any type of drug, any type of alcohol, anything that you can be addicted to. When you get to the point where there is no return, where you kind of, you, you go pitch black. That that was him with Tem. With the last few, like, uh, God, I'm still talking about this. The last few moments of Tem's life, because it makes me want to also rewatch, like, the very first episode and to see from both POVs once again. Um... With Tem, it is terrifying, but with Riz, his is more like, okay, I am stalking my prey. I'm going, I'm doing this, this, that, and the third. This is how, like I said, you know, um, crime shows, murder shows, how to catch a murderer, it's like that, whatever. Um, hella fucking similar to this, to the point where it was funny. Now, to the fact is that these two were not going to fight until New Year's. <sighs> Something, uh, of course, like, of course, bleh, bleh, I can't speak. Of course, someone's not going to make it out of this. Something tells me that next week, Legacy's going to go to Haru and they're going to, they're finally going to kiss. They're finally going to kiss. If that happens, you know, your girl going to be like, yeah, let's go, finally. But, I mean, especially with this week's episode and how she finally tells him that she loves him. But it makes her at the same time worried, you know, about Louise because I get that. I just, woo, God. But she, she kind of officially, as of now, she officially knows who she wants to be with. And that's Legacy. And I'm just like, <laughs> yes. Like, <laughs> I'm so happy. Because they're just so fucking cute together. And they are, they're not the norm. They're above the norm instead of going with someone who is around the same like the same genes of you wolf um i mean not gene species and such you're trying something new and as i've said before if this works out for them it'll show everybody that yeah you can cross with a different type of animal i don't know what the fuck you're gonna make um honestly but if you really truly love someone that don't fucking matter. Like, seriously. But I really need dude to go. It, it, it's his time to go. I, like, I, psh, threatening Pina. Even though, yeah, Pina is kind of an ass, but he a good ass. You, you know, be like, alright, I, I can tolerate you sometimes, and sometimes I just want to beat the crap out of you. I, I can't imagine, like, Pina dying. You know, having Pina die, that'd be so fucked up. Because he, he's on my... Like, yeah, yeah. He, he, he a little iffy with me sometimes I like him and then sometimes I'm like yeah I want to punch you in the fucking face but honestly with probably what two two three more episodes left with this show I have no idea no idea how in the world this is gonna end what's gonna happen next if Haru and Legacy are going to make it if Louise eventually comes back um 
if they give this show an open ending they could literally do anything with this but of course we gotta wait and see but other than that guys that is my reaction view to episode 10 of season 2 of Stars. if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys either next Tuesday Wednesday or next Saturday for episode 11 bye guys